my name is Eddie Toffey. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. Here is your daily technical analysis of stock index futures. I'll start with the UK FTSE futures. An immediate countering bullish harami yesterday. A very interesting move after the previous session's significant gapping lower bearish opening long black marabozo. Now prices reached up but did not manage to engage the next overhead resistance, instead shying away from the March 2020 high at 68.71 and a half. In part this may be due to further overhead resistances at the January high at 69.10 and the rising medium moving average currently at 69.21. This pullback is the first move back up actually since the period of indecision that culminated in the fourth countering bullish piercing line pattern two Fridays ago. As I said last week and this week as well, I have a concern about this market. And so far today, a much higher open, though still within yesterday's range, but a subsequent, well, was within yesterday's range, the open, but a subsequent strong move higher out of it, negating, it seems, all of Monday's bearishness and moving up through the March 2020 high, um, the January this year high, and testing the medium moving average. It's all very, very interesting now. German DAX futures. A bearish harami yesterday. Hardly surprising, I suppose, after Monday's large move low for bearish long black marabozo. The move up was capped on a closing basis by the rising medium moving average, currently at 15,247. And I suppose by a lesser projected Fibonacci line at 15,289, though I have doubts on that latter one. Further overhead, we have the short medium moving average resistance currently at 15,519. Like I said this week and last week, it is all getting a bit precious now, especially after May's monthly key reversal up, which had seemingly been neutralized. Uh, so far today, a higher open, almost a gapping move higher and a move up once again through the medium moving average as well as the lesser projected Fibonacci line. This looks like a more earnest try higher, as the base of the action was on yesterday's close. US E-mini S&P futures. An immediate countering bullish harami yesterday. This was a strong response to the previous session's bearish opening long black marimbozo. Let's once more take a small step backwards on this to get a better picture of what is happening. So, three weeks ago, we had the break upwards out of the not that distinct rising wedge pattern formed over mid-May uh, through to late June. The target on the top side for this, that is target X, is in the 44.12 area. We've come close to reaching up towards that number, but five days ago we had an outside day, that's the lesser cousin of the key reversal, and the market had issues trying to punch up through the 43.85 area. This left a question mark on whether the market can make it up there at all. And last Friday we moved from being a small question mark to a medium sized one. The nearby support, the 50% projected Fibonacci line at 43.43 was no longer there. But the upper trend line, currently at 42.97, of the rising wedge pattern still held. Yet this did lead it to look like we might have a possible false break higher. Now this Monday was a second consecutive close below the 50% projected Fibonacci line. But more importantly, the market punched down through the upper trend line of the rising wedge pattern, as well as the short medium moving average, currently 42.55, and a significant May high at 42.38. Prices finished up closing on the short medium moving average. Whilst this is a big move lower, it is not as bad as some of the other stock index futures. You see, here, we still had as support the medium moving average, currently 41.61, plus a 100% projected Fibonacci line at 42.02, and two 50% projected Fibonacci lines at 41.81 and 40.82. The move back into the rising wedge pattern on Monday, I thought it would most likely retire Target X, for, at least for now. However, the strong bullish army yesterday, based on the short medium moving average and punching back up and out of the rising wedge pattern, has tempered my move that move. I will still leave it there. Now it depends whether the market can tackle the overhead combined short moving average currently at 43.39 and the more important 
50% projected Fibonacci line of 43.43. Now, so far today, beginnings of what may be another strong attempt higher. We are charging both the short moving average and that 50% projected Fibonacci line overhead. French CAC 40 futures. After an important gapping low, a third bearish black crow on Monday, almost, but not quite a bearish opening black marabozo, yes, they saw a strong immediate countering bullish harami. Interestingly, it had a strong base on the rising medium moving average, currently 3606, and pierced the next overhead resistance quite significantly. That's the 50% projected Fibonacci line at 63.48, though we did not see a close over it. As I've recently said, since mid-May, this market has taken a course of two steps down, followed by one step up and then again two steps down, etc. Wondering if this is the most recent episode of this dance. We still have in operation the breach, but still functioning, recent descending expanded wedge pattern. The downtrend overhead currently at 65.32 and the lower trend line below currently at 62.59. A further overhead, though, well, we still have the weekend gap, which is 64.13 to 64.48, plus the other 50% projected Fibonacci line at 64.80 and the flatlining short medium moving average nearby, currently also 64.80. Just in case we have another significant move, I am still not fully comfortable just yet to start labeling targets with this ending expanding wedge pattern, but I can give an idea of the size of any possible moves below or above. Move lower would be about 135 points under the confirmed breach of the lower trend line. A move higher would be about 350 points over the confirmed breach of the upper trend uh, downtrend. I'll leave it at that for the moment. Now, so far today, another higher open based on the 50% projected Fibonacci line at 63.48 and an attempt to try and fill the weekend gap. But that is all. Well, that is all right now. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.